Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking, feeling about you? What are their intentions towards you? How do they view you or this connection? And what do they wish they could tell you? And let's just jump right into it. Spirits angels. All right, it's messages for Aries. Who or what is coming towards Aries in love? All right, Aries. 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 Messages for Aries, please. Sir. What does Aries need to know? Okay, we have occupation number 34. Someone is focused working hard you could be working with this person that you're interested in or someone's just focused on their career right now thoughts number 16 interesting the message that i got is that this person is thinking of you notice how like in that picture the woman in the photo looks like this woman <laughs> right so it's almost like while you're working on something here this person's thinking about you or vice versa take it how it resonates um all right we'll see what the tarot has to say here messages for aries please sir messages for aries All right, so let's see what we have for you, Aries. So in the recent past, we have the Knight of Coin reverse in your energy. We have the Ace of Cups, wow, and the Hangman. In the present energy, we have the Seven of Wands and the Empress. In their energy, we have the Strength card, Leo energy. And the King of Cups, interesting, King of Cups, Ace of Cups. In the near future, we have the Lovers Reverse, Gemini Energy. Well, right away, I'm thinking, when it comes to emotions, I feel like you're both in the same boat. Bottom of the deck, the Hermit, Virgo Energy. So someone I feel is kind of withdrawn, focusing on something other than this connection right now. Um, maybe there's not a lot of communication happening. Um, Maybe this is someone that's trying to figure something out because I also have thoughts here. That's kind of what the Hermit is about, like listening to your intuition, trying to seek answers, um, getting to the bottom of something, listening to your intuition. And you do that when you're alone. Um, I'm kind of concerned though because I have here the Seven of Wands and then the Empress. So it's almost like there's obstacles here, challenges someone needing to be courageous or strong i do have the strength card for your person so i feel like there's something here that's kind of in the way of something growing with the empress you have the hangman on your end here of course you can flip the energies but for for me this is you aries so i feel like you're doing a lot of thinking and reflecting here um regarding love but maybe there's not a lot of action right now we'll see Knight of coin reverse in the near or the recent past and the lovers reverse in the near future. Um, notice how those are the only two cards reversed. So I feel like in the past and in the future, there's something that's still kind of developing. There might be delays here with the knight of coin reverse. There might be still a separation here if you're not with this person. So we'll see. Let's clarify these energies and see. Spirit, tell me about the knight of coin reverse why is the knight of coin reverse the star reverse aquarius energy why is the knight of coin reverse something that maybe feels hopeless someone's losing faith in something ten of coin reverse definitely this could be financial difficulties um, a long-term commitment that's not doing well or a family situation that's not doing well um 
Yeah, something's definitely, there could have also been a separation between you in the past and it's still not healed. Three of Wands reverse. There's definitely delays here. Nine of Coin reverse, the bottom of the deck. What's behind that? Six of Cups reverse. Uh, so there's something um, in the past that's a problem or an attachment here. There's the Four of Coin right after that. So yes, I feel like there's something here that happened in the past that's still affecting this connection now. Three of Wands reverse this could be a card about um, feeling impatient, frustrated. Um, because there's too much waiting or uh, the ship has sailed, right? Like um, someone maybe waited too long. This has something to do with like something that was long standing here with the Ten of Coin reverse. Someone could even be feeling like they're never going to get this Ten of Coin. Tell me more about this Three of Wands. Let me actually put that out. Tell me more about this Three of Wands reverse. Why is the Three of Wands reverse for Aries? The Chariot, Cancer Energy. So someone wants to make a move here, wants to move forward, but I feel with the Three of Wands reverse, the Knight of Coin reverse, they can't. Bottom of the deck, the Two of Coin. It's like they have something else going on. Some decision they have to make. Maybe they're busy, obligations. Tell me more about the Three of Wands reverse. Why is the Three of Wands reverse? The world reverse. Yes, there's a cycle here that hasn't ended for someone. You or this person. And so they're unable to move forward. There could even be a lack of closure from the past. But I feel like someone moving forward, it's just it's not happening. There's frustration here. Delays obstacles with the Knight of Coin. Let's see, what's the Seven of Wands about? Because I feel like this is where the issue lies. What's the Seven of Wands about? The Magician. So yes, this is about manifesting, making something happen. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Look at all this major arcana. Making something happening, happen, make something work here. Have something be balanced. Yeah, Ace of Wands. So this is somebody that wants to have some sort of new beginning here, manifest something new. But I feel with temperance, it's going to take time. And I feel it's going to take time because there's some sort of opposition or challenge here. And then I have the Three of Cups reversed. And then right behind that, the Devil reverse. So like someone needing to break free of something. Capricorn energy there with the Devil reverse. There could be some sort of interference in the form of another person, finances just challenges here that someone I feel is working on. Tell me about the Empress. What's this Empress about? Why is the Empress here? Six of coin. Tell me about the Empress. Something needs to be balanced here. The Tower reverse. Can I get one more for the Empress? Hmm. Queen of Coin Reverse. Someone's trying, yeah, King of Coin Reverse and then the Seven of Swords. I feel like there's a tower moment that's either just happened or is going to happen here. I feel like there's someone, whoever's experiencing this tower, whether it's you or your person, I feel like there's financial constraints and there's an imbalance here. It's like someone needs something. And this tower has put them in that position of needing something. There could be a um, a relationship or a connection here that's not doing well with the Queen of Coin, King of Coin. And for some reason, I don't know if this is you, because I also have a King of Cups here. Then I have the Seven of Swords. So it's like someone needs to be strategic here. Uh, maybe needs to be a bit sneaky because um, of whatever situation this is. Or perhaps there was a, a disconnect in a partnership due to the Seven of Swords. Take it as it resonates. But I feel like someone now is trying to make something happen here. So bring something back into balance with temperance. And it's going to take some time, but this is the goal, I feel. So let's see how you're both thinking or feeling about one another. Great. Tell me about Aries. And the person they are thinking or feeling. Or the person that they're thinking about. 
What are their thoughts or feelings towards this person, this connection? Okay, that one just wanted to come right out. Secret admirer and deep regret. So you're watching someone, keeping tabs on someone, thinking about someone. And there's regret over past actions or something maybe, maybe this is what you're thinking so much about with the hangman here. Tell me about the person that Aries is in a connection with. What are they thinking or feeling at this time? What are they thinking or feeling at this time? Coming together, reunion, destiny, meeting. Destiny has brought you together. So they want to come together here. Have some sort of reunion. Bottom of the deck, we have broken silence. So I feel like they have something to say. Now, whether they've said that is a different story, but that's what I'm getting. Okay, so let's see. Let's get into your energies. You have the Ace of Cups. There's an Ace of Wands here. Someone's definitely thinking about a new beginning. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. It's a lot of emotions here. Now, Aries, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more for you. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Nine of Wands. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. So there's still love even despite the difficulty. Page of Wands reverse, despite the fact that something hasn't fully taken off here. Yep, the Wheel of Fortune reverse. So you feel like there's been bad luck, like timing is not on your side. Things aren't working out the way that you hoped. Um, maybe there's trust issues or baggage or just like this feeling of having been through a lot with this person. Bottom of the deck, I have the death card, Scorpio energy. There could have been an ending between you or some sort of change. Why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here? And it's interesting because in all of the cards that I've pulled, I don't have a lot of cups. I have the ace of cups, the king of cups, and that's it. That's all I have. So I feel like, I don't know, I feel like love is not the problem or the issue. It's something else. Money, action, courage, um, a tower moment, you know? Why is the hangman here? The hermit, yeah, you see, you're the one that has kind of retreated to think. You're thinking a lot right now. Tell me about the hangman. Maybe you're seeing things differently the more you think about something. Justice, Libra energy. Look at all this major arcana. Making things right. So you want to make things right. You want things to be fair to you, balanced. Eight of Wands reverse, but there's no movement here. There's no movement, no action, possibly even no communication with the Hermit and the Eight of Wands reverse. I don't know if it's you that's not taking the action or you're thinking about your person and the fact that they're not taking any action. Why is strength here? Why is strength here? Knight of Swords. So someone I feel needs courage to speak up, deliver a message here. Wow, Two of Cups reverse. This is about a separation. Seven of Cups. So I feel like someone here is thinking about what to tell you, how to, how to tell you something. It's separation, a separation between you or separation they're under, like they're going or experiencing right now. And it's like, how do I, how do I say this? You could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Why is the King of Cups here? Queen of Wands reverse. Yikes. Why is the King of Cups here? Eight of coins, so they're hard at work, focus. The two of coin again at the bottom of the deck. This queen of wands reverse this is very interesting to me because I immediately thought of the queen of coin reverse. Like they're the same person. What's this Eight of Coin about? Six of Wands, Two of Swords. So someone wants success, recognition, but is undecided. 
They're working on something here. Something, they might even be stuck. Maybe the decision is something that's like out of their control completely here, or perhaps all they can do is work, 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 and you know, work on uh, putting in a certain amount of energy into success, but it's almost like that's as much as they can do. There's something going on with finances here. Something going on with like money or something like that. The coin reverse. Someone's like, where, yeah, and I have the king of coin at the bottom of the deck. Eight of swords reverse, nine of cups, breaking free of something, ten of cups, three of swords, king of wands. So it's kind of like a story here. It's like someone wants to break free. We did have the devil reverse that came up as well. Have happiness here. But, you know, in the midst of all that, there's pain, like hurting someone or feeling hurt. Wands about. That's the six that wands about. Again, with the two of coin. Almost like they don't know different paths here. Tell me about the six of wands. It's like a choice between two here. Knight of Wands, reverse. Hmm. Judgment. Okay. So this is a, what I. This is what I'm picking up. This person, whoever this is, thinking about success here. They've having regrets of their of their own because they've done have done here. Eight, Queen of Wands, reverse. Four of Cups. Knight of Wands. I feel like this is someone who is trying to make a different choice now for whatever reason, because something hasn't worked out for them. So let's look at what's happening in the near future. So let's see, where's all of this headed with the lover's reverse? What's this about with the lover's reverse? Seven of coin reverse, why is the lover's reverse? The devil, yeah, this was a bad choice. Someone made a bad choice and now it's like they're stuck or trapped in the choice that they've made here. Page of coin reverse, and again with the page of coin reverse. There could be a separation that's happening, but I don't think it's with you because I have coming together here on your person. So it's almost like they wanna to come together with you, but maybe there's some other situation that's holding them back. The lovers, a card about a separation, but it could also be making a different choice because regret over another choice. And someone who ever got into this devil energy, there's definitely regrets here. And the seven of coin reverse is telling me it's almost like it feels like a waste of time, energy, resources for this person. Tell me about the devil. King of wands. Yeah, this is someone that wants to take some sort of action and then have the death card at the bottom of the deck. So it's like they want to end this, this devil uh, energy. Very interesting. In terms of like um, what's happening next, tell me more spirit. Tell me more about what's gonna happen next here with this devil energy. Now page of coin reverse is kind of concerning me because it's reminded me of the nine of coin here on the recent past. So I feel like there's just gonna be a continuation of events here, not an actual change. Let's see if I'm right about that. Can I get one more card please spirit, for the lovers reverse? Seven of Swords Reverse. So someone's gonna get caught doing something here. Oh my gosh, Queen of Cups Reverse. Tell me more. Three of Coin. So there's definitely, okay, and then I have the Nine of Coin at the bottom of the deck and the Eight of Swords. This is about becoming free, but there's fear, Nine of Swords. Free, independent, they're working on something, but I feel like whatever this three of coin is, it's it's gonna be heartbreaking for someone. Someone's gonna be heartbroken at what they find out or what at what they have to do. It's like they're gonna hurt somebody. I hope it's not you. It's like this person is uh, stuck between a wall and what's that phrase, rock and a hard place. <laughs> so I don't. But but the intent is to come together. You know, I feel like that's the intent. It's just there's something that there needs to be a lot of work on. I feel like there's effort being put in 
And in the meantime, all they're doing is thinking of you and vice versa. So thank you so much for watching Aries. I hope this resonated for you. If it did, please leave me a comment. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe, like the videos if you enjoyed my readings and want to see more. I appreciate everyone that takes the time to do that. And I will see you all very soon with another video.